Hi everyone, I'm Jen Canodal, and I'm a very special guest today. I have Brian Bidolf, and I actually met Brian um, through his books, and so I'm so grateful that I have him here today. Welcome, Ryan. Jen, thanks so much for having me. Really appreciate it. Yeah, so um, so I want everyone to kind of uh, hear Ryan's story. I kind of want uh, them to get the backstory because it's it's really inspiring, and I think it's um, there are so many people uh, that have the same feelings that he had when you were working, but uh, but he actually took it off into a different direction. So let me know about that. Sure. Well, now it's almost eight nine years ago. I was working as a security guard at Newark Shipping Terminal in New Jersey. <laughs> And I got the pink slip. That was really the beginning of everything. I got downsized. There was some huge, massive uh, cutting of the workforce because they were computerizing. And I'm like, all right, you know, I accepted it for what it was. And I kind of felt intuitively that it was time to jet for a while. So it was usually just, you know, kind of sometimes you get the broom out of there. So uh, at the time, my girlfriend, now my wife, Kelly, she told me about the online money making bit. And I had no experience. I didn't know what a blog was. I knew how to do two things. Check ESPN.com and check my email. And I literally, even when I started researching blogs, I was like, hey, you should do something called blogging. And I'm like, I don't know. So I just pumped down my credit card, domain, hosting. And that was the beginning of it. Obviously, the journey was a lot of trial and error. And I, I grabbed a few mentors in the beginning, and I got had some mentors that maybe weren't coming from the highest energy space. We'll just leave it at that. Sure. Um, you know, we know how it goes. So, um but that was really the beginning of the journey that got me into blogging. And then after that, we, we started traveling. I was creating some value. You know, I did okay financially here and there. We had some decent months, but I also had some struggles. Um, and then really a number of years into my trip, that's when I founded Blogging from Paradise. So what did so that, you first start writing about? First, I was focusing more on like affiliate marketing and making money online. That okay. was my first niche. But energetically, I was so unclear on it. Yeah. I just... It was like a lot of folks in the beginning, or really throughout most of their careers, without that clarity, it was really a pish posh, a, uh, a jumble eye, if you will, of, uh, of uh, information in so many different areas. So I had some success, but I really struggled. And more than anything, Jen, it really wasn't fulfilling. Yeah. My energy wasn't into it, or at least my higher energy. So, so I really floundered with that. But one of the key turning points, and again, it's something that we talk about a lot and you see just from these interesting stories. My host, when I was in Sabu Sabu, Fiji, my hosting company called me, and they deleted my blog, they deleted my business site, and they're like, listen, either you remove all these different blog posts from this uh, blog you have, and it would be it would have been about 2,000, or uh, we keep your site offline. And I'm just like, what the frick? And I, over like the course of an hour, I'm like, going over this decision. I'm like, okay, I delete 3,400 posts, or these 2,000 posts, or you know what I could do? I could just delete everything and start from scratch. And intuitively, I've been being pulled to move away from like the make money online niche for so long. But again, you get those like notes where you can look at it as like, okay, it's, it's something so terrible and oh, this is horrible. Or you get that little nudge of like, you know, maybe you should start a web. You really haven't been enjoying this. You really haven't been clear on it. So long and the short of it, I deleted 3,400 blog posts, my old online income streams, everything, my brand. I totally, quote unquote, started from scratch, but really it was starting being armed with more wisdom, knowledge, and you know, a higher energy intent. Yeah. So I did that, and then that was how Blogging from Paradise was born. And that was in 2014 in good old Sabu Sabu Fiji, one of the most beautiful islands on the face of the earth. And it was just, uh, it was so cathartic because... With that pristine beauty outside of me and living in that setting, I feel like uh, energetically I cleaned my slate. And then that led to this beautiful beginning. And since then, I really uh, I hit the ground running with Blogging in Paradise. It really took off quickly. So Well, it's a, it's a perfect title, right? Because, I mean, it says exactly the thing that people want. It's like, oh, yes, I want to do that. That's exactly it. Like I always say when I'm talking to folks, talking about my e-books, when you pick a domain, if people can picture it easily, since we think in pictures, you're doing the legwork for them. Nice. So they'll buy it. Like, oh yeah, I could see that. Yeah, we, uh, you, you and I actually had a, a conversation uh, with me switching kind of my brand from Jen Chicago, and it's so hard to let go of something that you've worked so hard on. It's 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 your little baby, but you were saying it may be confusing if people are, you look you up and something else comes up. That's exactly it. It's it is difficult to let it go until that moment you realize that in many ways, releasing precedes acquiring. 
It's like you kind of have to let go. The one analogy I like to, to put out there is like, imagine if you're just walking uphill, or actually walking downhill or rolling downhill versus trying to run uphill with a, a 50 pound weighted suit and somebody pulling you back. It's just, once you let go, everything opens up and you get that clarity. But letting go can be very, very unpleasant. But when you do and you have that full clarity and like, okay, this is me, this is what I do, and I'm going to stay on niche, stay on topic, things come together so much easier. And that's the power of clarity and intent, too. Now, um, I, I think a lot of people would wonder, it sounds like you just started traveling right away. And it's like, well, did you have a pile of money? Like, you know, how, because I think a lot of people, they want to start something. And, and, and that's what I kind of tell people sometimes about video. I'm like, oh, the first couple of videos, sure, every, your friends will watch it. Uh, the hard part is when they stop watching it, you know, when they're, when, when, how do you, how do you keep going? They're kind of over your new excitement and, and, and you gotta, it's gotta be something that's drives you even past the time that your mom doesn't watch any or read or whatever anymore well you know what it is it's following your fun like a lot of people like that people, they pick a niche or they pick something and they're like you know what they're like it really seems enjoyable you know i'm having fun with it but deep down it's <laughs> you can't out fox the universe you can't out fake god like it, you know, everything, this this all-encompassing power from here to infinity, it knows when you're faking it. Like, you cannot fake that. So it's like, either you follow your fun, and you're not super attached to outcomes, i.e. people watching, mm. views, money, traffic, social shares, testimonials, endorsements, all this good stuff. You're attached to that, or you're not. And of course, we're all going to be attached to it on some level, but really, when you follow your fun, the fun is the reward. So if the fun's a reward, it goes back to that whole and complete feeling, then you don't need anything beyond that. So then if the views don't show up, you might be like, oh, you know, I really don't mind. I'm doing it for the fun. And then you see so many people across the board, that these billionaires, these people that are really happy, that have monstrous success, the fun is their driver. So that's the reward. So when you're not thinking about the outcomes, of course, those begin to manifest with greater and greater ease. And you connect with more like-minded people. And the sales go up and the views because you're not worrying about them. So that's probably the biggest thing in the beginning that you want to do right off the bat. And even with us, it took us, I, my energy was really off in the beginning, but it's probably like a year and a half of working on my building up uh, my freelance writing business where I generated the revenue to start traveling, to buy those plane tickets from New York City to Bali. Now, when we started traveling, we were in some very interesting circumstances <laughs> financially, take it how you will, where I, you know, I was forced to goaded to find greater clarity in what I was doing and to let go of what I had outgrown, like uh, old clothes that were too tight, sure. to uh, move into the person, to the being I'm being today, and to do something that's really fun to me, genuinely. And both those things are travel and blogging, and that's what I work together with the blogging tips and, and travel insights on blogging from paradise. So, so follow that fun. It will get you away more and more from the outcomes. And then when you're having fun and your energy goes higher and higher, You'll move into planes where you're attracting ideas to write the ebook. And you write the ebook. You're just raising your vibration. You're letting go of the vibration, that other energy, that holding on to the outcomes and, and the views and, and all that stuff and the money, that lower energy stuff that held you back. But then, you know, you connect with really inspired people and you interview them and then you gain their endorsements and testimonials. Everybody's like, wow, you're so, look at you, you know, you've been on Virgin and Forbes and you spoke at NYU. And it's like, it was all about letting go. I had to let go of who I thought I was to become the person I was meant to be. It's and that, neat. it is, a, it's an energy <laughs> thing. It's fascinating when you see it work, and I've seen it with you, it just everybody, every single human being, really, because we're all expanding all the time. It's just so fascinating to see energetically how it works, you know? Now, uh, I, I mean, I know people can do it without, but like how... How do you think, and I know you, you don't really have a frame of reference, but how do you think having Kelly supporting you and being there and not because I think sometimes as a solo person if everything's you you don't you don't you can just get caught up in your own head and I I I would just think oh man how supportive Kelly was to you know stick with him when he had these financial problems and like you know oh, encourage it, him it, it's it's tough without and that's the thing I know no matter what single you know, with someone, married, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, you know, family support, family against you, and I've <laughs> family members very against me <laughs> in many different ways. Um, no matter what, anybody can do this because I truly believe that our 
source, our support, our guidance is invisible. It comes from within it, and it's it's God, it's the universe, it's, it's there. But when you have someone with you in bodily form in their meat suit who supports you all the time virtually, you know, maybe for like a minute over the past like nine years, <laughs> it, it really does help. And one of the cool things is the clearer you get on your direction, you're going to align with either a romantic partner or a best friend or somebody you get really close with, you know, on internet, you become business buddy or life buddy, and you'll see, you'll keep letting it in the clearer you get. But yeah, her support has been, you know, because you feel like the world's against you sometimes. I mean, it yeah. points you, other than my dad, who was, you know, supportive throughout most of it, you know, she was the one who was there when it seemed like nobody was around. So, I mean, I'm beyond grateful, you know, and I support her as much as I can with her business. I explained she was a successful business coaching and, you know, moving into that area. So, so it really, it really does help. And I think the cool thing is, I've received so much from her, and then the more I've appreciated that over the years, whatever you appreciate, you appreciate. More so more people move into my life who are like, hey, I like this guy's vision. He's not some nut job. He really, you know, he, he's saying something that could be helpful and inspired. So we really do let it in. That's the illusion. We think we're going out there, but the more we clear stuff, we let it in. We act inspired. We, we connect. It may appear that we're reaching out, but it's always that when you think of the illusion of separation, like, oh, I'm connected with all these folks anyway. I'm just letting them in. So when you kind of move into that zone a little bit more, and I do maybe for like two seconds every day, no, maybe a little bit more than that, it's it's a, it's miraculous how it happens. It really is beautiful. I cannot imagine you being a security guard. Um, <laughs> it's like you have way too much energy to be just standing around, you know, waiting for something crazy to happen. Uh, we were just talking about you now have 124 eBooks on Amazon. And, and, and your latest one was about finding your, your writing voice. And I was telling you that really reading it was so encouraging to me because I, I had written one ebook that, I mean, took me almost like a year to write unnecessarily. And not because I looked at it every day because it was just something of it's not going to be good enough or whatever. But really reading your words and, and, and reading about, you know, uh, authenticity and freedom, I, I really do feel like it was encouraging. And I, I, I said earlier, you know, the really great people make you feel like you can be great too. And I appreciate that about you. I know, Jen, that's the exact reason why I wrote that and why I wrote all my ebooks. Because for so many years, across the board in my business and my life, like I just felt like I wasn't good enough. It was just that feeling of whenever I touched anything online, I just thought it was going to go to crap. And I even thought about writing an ebook, but then I thought about how many people are going to criticize me. Who would tune in? Who would download this? You know, I'm a former security guard. Even after having some success online, just moving in that area of like expressing myself and being like, hey, I'm a guy who's retired to a life of island hopping through blogging. I adopted the vision of blogging paradise, but before that, before I had that clarity, I had that same exact, that just that feeling of like, man, and I would you know, delay and not dive into projects. And so really this book, How to Find Your Writing Voice, and so many of my books are just based on the idea of you could write really informally like I said, like me, a guy from northern New Jersey who just writes how he speaks. You know, you're sitting down chatting with me through my ebooks. You know, I'm going to say the word grammatically. Is that even right? I don't know. Yeah. But it's just, it's, it's one of those, uh, shocker, I must have put it. <laughs> it's one of those things where, like, you could be just down home and, like, casual and you and share something really valuable and helpful quite unlike anything else in your niche. Mm -hmm. And it's the more you're just you. And like I say, how do you speak? What would you talk about all day? Start blogging about it. Write an ebook about it. Put it in Word, format it. I have blog posts out there. I have ebooks there. I have ebooks that can cover pretty much anything you want to cover because I've gone through so many experiences over the past, starting from scratch, from nothing, to building it up where, you know, the lifestyle I live. So it's like, I think they're really doing better and better, my ebooks, because it just gives people permission to be themselves. And I think the more folks see that, you're like, I can do this too. And that's really my ultimate message. Like I started with, I just, I had no idea what the online world was. It was amazing. So I think folks more and more are resonating with that. They're like, hey, I could, I could do this. I could write. I could become a best-selling author and not be a great writer. Like I met someone in Costa Rica recently. They're like, yeah, I wrote a new book. She's like, I, I think it's pretty good. And I'm really not a great writer. I'm like, oh, me too. We're two bees in a pod. And she's like, well, you've had some best-selling books, and, you know, uh, Chris Brogan, New York Times best-selling author, he's endorsed your stuff. I'm like, yeah, Tweet endorsed it. I'm like, I, 
I don't know. I'm just I'm clear on it, and there's some points to share, but the more you're genuinely, authentically being yourself in your writing, in your being, in your videos, podcasts throughout the day, magic happens. You have so much energy. I feel like it barely fits in this video. Um, I, I, I know I could talk to you forever. Like it's just, it's, it's fascinating and you're energized and I can just tell you're high on life and it's, it's inspiring to watch. Um, so uh, I, again, I, I, I know there's so much more, but I kind of want to uh, just uh, wrap this up and, and, and you're doing, I mean, you're, you're promoting all of your books right now on, on Amazon. So I'll make sure that I definitely link to that. But um, is there anything that I didn't ask you that you want to tell us or, or leave us with some uh, words of wisdom? Really more than anything, follow your fun. It's whatever you could talk about all day. That sounds like, like a book. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's funny because when it comes down to it, life really is so much more simple when you focus on following your fun, like what can you talk about all day long, blog about it, write about it, do videos about it, start a podcast. From there, you'll gain more information, you'll build up your knowledge base, you'll be able to share the content, you'll connect with like-minded people, that's where the stuff comes together, that's where you'll start generating sales and connecting with folks and gaining the endorsements. So really, more than anything, you want to make that your driver because that will help you hopscotch, leapfrog, hurdle over the obstacles, which are going to arise. We all face resistance, but it doesn't have to be something where it holds you back for months or years. You know, it still may take a while to you know create the success and whatever, but you're focusing on the fun. So more than anything, that's that's always my number one piece of advice because you'll get past all that outcomes-related stuff that people just latch onto, like just so voraciously, you know. That really holds them back. Yeah. So that would be it more than anything. I, I love it. And um, I want to encourage anyone listening. Um, I, I mean, Ryan, so Ryan has a ton of books, and none of them are expensive, but they are a little bit of uh, addicting. I mean, once, you, once you read one, yeah, they're all kind of right there. And um, and if you can catch Ryan between islands, uh, then, you know, he's uh, pretty pretty responsive on social media. Um, but I know that sometimes he goes to fancy, exotic places that don't have great Wi-Fi. So uh, that's that's when the, the books can kind of fill in those spots. But um, again, Again, I thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I feel honored that you take some time out to tell me about uh, your life and what you're working on. And uh, I hope I get to follow up with you soon. Oh, Jen, that's great. And yeah, if you want to check it out, I just want to let you know because I started recently. Uh, I have free ebook Friday. I'm blogging from paradise.com. So for five days, I'm giving away an ebook a week for free, Friday through Tuesday. So pick it up, leave me a review if you liked it, share it with your buddies. This way you'll be able to get right in. Don't have to reach into your pocket at all, you know. Can't be free. Yeah, free. Yeah, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, thank you. yeah. But thank you so much, and I appreciate it. It was so much fun. Thank you so much. Okay, bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.